smash, smash, smash. I'd like to welcome you to a very special video that's been in the works for a long time. This is the story of where my passion for fishing was ignited, told by revisiting the place where it all got started, during what was arguably the best weekend trip I could have ever imagined on the Bruce Peninsula. I hope this video inspires you to pick up a rod for the first or thousandth time and highlight some of what makes fishing so incredible. Since I was about six years old, I knew I loved everything about fishing. It started with early experiences with my papa and continued to grow with each memorable catch. Inspired by the places I visited and those that I fished with, I was always amazed by fish, their habitat, fishing techniques, and the pictures and videos that made up fishing pop culture in magazines that I read or in the shows that I watched. The Bruce Peninsula, the area featured in the video, offers a variety of species and interesting places to target them. Inherently, this variety led to my multi-species fascination that has since informed my pursuits as a guide, multi-species writer, and content creator. My goal with these ventures is and always has been to inspire people to connect with fishing in some way that brings them joy and happiness. On this trip, my good friend Victor and I target smallmouth bass, walleye, and largemouth, fishing both Lake Huron and some small inland lakes. This is where it all started for me. I hope you enjoy. Beckon, to summon or signal typically with a wave or nod, to appear inviting, to be inviting or enticing, a gesture of summons. This place is said to beckon by the locals. The phrase is alive in local culture and is justified. The sun rises, sunsets, coves, islands, trees, the calm, serene, and that which is the Bruce Peninsula. We arrived to our weekend home base with just enough time to try out the evening topwater bite that was the highlight of most days for me I spent there growing up. With the sun just above the horizon, we quickly unpacked into our rustic lakeside cabin and waded into the fresh Lake Huron waters and tried our luck. Victor with his fly rod and myself with conventional tackle. Dragonfly just flew by me. Oh, yeah. Yep. They're on the menu. Yes, sir. <laughs> was that on the top water? No. Oh, good for you. Oh, it's a what? Dude, I've never seen a pike here before. No. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh, break me off. Like I'd only ever heard uh, legends of pike here. Uh, it's actually not bad. That's a spunky pike. Pike. <laughs> a leaping pike at that. That's awesome. I think you can get them. Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> I stopped him shoot. <laughs> okay, I had him. All right, there we go. Classic. Nicely done, sir. Thank you. All right. We can do this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Dude, that's so sick. I can't believe you got a bike here. Nice. All right. Okay. Well. Oh yeah. That was sick.
That guy's kind of like the one you got. A little, little bigger. Honestly, man, I could not have asked for a better start. Like, this is crazy. Yep. Yep. That was a good bite. <laughs> For the most part, when they eat it, they eat it good. Come on! Yeah, I mean, the weather here is so different than at home, too, because it, it'll glass out every night. It's so cool. Oh, buddy! <laughs> oh, that was a huge splash! Oh, my goodness! Oh! Yeah. The the old uh, the old trick is oh yeah that's a good one. Old trick is let the let the bubble settle before he oh it's a pike. Oh smokes. Buddy, what is going on? I know the bubbles settle before you do anything. Luckily, he's only got one hook. Oh, you're right. This is beautiful. That's a decent pike. After a successful evening of fishing, we enjoyed pulled pork wraps and rigged up for next day's adventures. Doesn't take much, man. Good morning guys, it is Saturday morning and we are still up on the Bruce Peninsula and today I'm very excited because I get to fish one of the lakes that I fished a lot growing up and I get to show Victor. So we're still at the cottage right now, it's about 5.30 or 6 in the morning and we're going to load up the boat and head to this lake. So the lake is a small inland lake and it has walleye and bass. So that's, uh, that's the game plan. Victor's gonna be trying his, his normal tricks, which is to catch the fish on something other than what I catch them on because I'm pretty stuck in my ways and I use uh, old, school, old school methods with worm harnesses and underspin jigs and stuff like that. So he's gonna try and get them on something funky. Uh, and I, I just can't wait to get out. As you can see, it's an absolutely beautiful morning. Uh, just so stoked to be up here. Um, it's a real privilege to be able to take the time uh, to get up here and, and enjoy uh, this piece of Ontario. So I hope that you guys are enjoying so far. Last night was pretty amazing with the topwater action. We had a couple hours to fish uh, when we first got here. And now today is going to be our, our main, main day. Um, so hope you enjoy. Really, really looking forward to get out this morning. A short early morning drive took us to the lake where we quickly deployed and hit the water after I forgot the fish finder and had to go back to the cottage. Victor and I trolled small worm harnesses around the lake for about two hours, which got us enough bites for a quick shore lunch back at the cottage. I'll spare you the trolling footage, but what happened after that was really cool. 
I fished this lake a lot growing up and had only really heard rumor of the big bass that lived in it. And occasionally we'd catch some small ones while out walleye trolling, but really got nothing of any size worth mentioning. What happened next was truly remarkable. With this bottom, it's... Oh, yep, I'm on. Yeah? Yeah. Seriously? Uh, something. Yeah, yeah. Little, oh my God. little dink perch. What we got here? Oh, it is our first smallmouth. That is not a good sign. Our first smallmouth doing this. You, you've already got a couple. Wow. Okay, young of the year. You know, it's a good sign though. It means there's fish here. Yeah, bud. Oh no, it's not. It's a fish. There we go. Yeah, bud. I think it's mild. Oh, big bass, dude. Big? It's a big one. It's actually a good one, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Right, I'm gonna take him this side. Oh my I'm goodness like, oh. gracious, Victor. <laughs> uh, yeah, you want this side maybe? Or? No, I need the other side. Solid bass. You ready? Yep. Yes, sir. <laughs> Yo. I'm talking about crankbait. Good call on the crankbait, man. Thank you. It's bouncing it off the marl. There we go. That's a very good northern bass. I'd say so, yeah. Wow, stinky fish. <laughs> so dank. <laughs> Look at that leech. Wow. Cool, eh? They're eating. Uh, I don't know how long I'm gonna do with the paddle here. No. I'll push this out. Yeah. No. Where? Oh, jeez. Yes, dude. <laughs> Another solid Another fish, hey? Eh? Yeah. Here. You might still have to get on the motor though, honestly. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Which is fine. fine. Okay. You got the net? Yeah, yeah. yeah I'll it out. We got pandemonium here in Grey Gator, too. No. <laughs> How's that for. I think we're okay? Uh, maybe just a little bit further. Okay. Unreal. Pitch the net. That's, that's bigger than that. Yeah, that is. Oh, you're sitting on the net, so just uh, be beware. Sweet. Right. <laughs> yes, yeah. sir. There we go. <laughs> I can't believe that. Like he scared it with the boat? He was swimming away from the boat because we from made the noise. Boat, and I just pitched it in front of him and he just turned around and ate it. Look at that. Thing. That's unreal. Unreal. Love it. Alright. It's at least a solid three-ish, like mid-three. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Hey. Nicely oh. done. Right on. Okay. What do you think about merch? that says strictly units. Big ol', big ol'. Yeah? And they always look so stupid. And like, and it's like, his merch, like it's, 
Yes, sir. They like it off the morrow, Victor. Like I popped it hard to get it off the morrow. Oh! oh big dude! No! I think so, yeah, yeah, no yeah, way! Yeah. Oh my goodness gracious! <laughs> what the heck? Dude! Oh my god. Alright. Dude, what is happening? We're not killing them, man. Oh, we're not killing that one. No, we're not killing no, no. them. No. <laughs> oh, it choked the crank. That's the biggest wall I've ever seen here. Yeah! I'm not even <laughs> no kidding. Way. Buddy. Wow. You're like big walleye. Big walleye. Oh, right, unreal. Go. He ate it head first too. Freaking choked it. Like I said, popping it off the model. This is dirt shallow. Holy crap. Yeah, head first down so anybody who says walleye have fish at night. Oh, buddy. I got to get some... Uh, some good B-roll of that. Hold them in the water. Yeah. Oh, buddy, that's insane. Hey, what'd you say? Take me somewhere you fished all your life, and I'll just fish it differently, and you never know what'll happen. That—that's what you said. That's what you said. Oh, I knew that's what you would do to me. Yeah. Yes. That is crazy. All right. All right. All right. And those other guys—they fished here and they left right away. There were a few more casts after Victor landed his surprise walleye, but we were both getting pretty hungry by this point, so we pointed the tinner back to the launch and called it a morning. It didn't take us long to clean the fish and cook up what may have been the best thing I've ever eaten. Fresh walleye tacos topped with tomato, onion, avocado, and lobster. Believe it or not, we still hadn't experienced the day's most ridiculous fishing yet. Tune in to part two to see what happens next. I promise you, you don't want to miss out on this one. I'd like to thank you for checking out this video. With Guiding Back in Full Swing, it was great to get away for a bit and also to be able to share this experience with you guys. If you haven't already, consider hitting subscribe to stay up to date with my videos and podcasts. Do it at like Thanks again for watching. Get outside. So we can fish all these massive things. Well, they're PETA professionals. So they're the PETA professionals. We're fishing professionals. And fish eating professionals. Oh, yeah. Just to that. Mm. Pretty good. Not bad. Not terrible. Oh, I can't do this. Can <laughs> put too much in your rod. Oh shoot! Mm. I'm a victim of my own gluttony. There we go. Oh man, that's good. Mm. The lobster's salty, which is very nice too. And yeah, those pin bones just disappear. Mm-hmm. Look at all that fish. <laughs> we'll eat it. Yeah, there's more penis inside too. Yeah. Alright.